Well, speaking of presidents, the day to honor our U.S. presidents, past and present, is coming up on Monday. There's a new musical out there helping to celebrate it. It's at the Tempe Center for the Arts, and Megan Finnerty is joining us now with some of the cast members right here in our studio. Hey, Megan. Hey, you guys. I am so excited to be here with Anthony Runfola. Anthony, you're the director of Rock the President. Yes. From Child's Play Theater, you guys are at the Tempe Center for the Arts. To me, it sounds very um, Schoolhouse Rock, which I grew up on. Sure, and it's like Schoolhouse Rock, but with a lot more rock to it. And it's sort of like a musical theater piece with a lot of rock concert to it, with a little bit of lounge act, a little bit of game show, a little Ooh, bit country, show. a little more rock and roll. Okay. Yeah, all different kinds of styles in there. I, it sounds so exciting. Now, tell me who your audience is for this show. Well, you know, we're saying, you know, eight and up, but I think it's great for families if you're like mine, where uh, dad wants to watch C-SPAN all the time, the kids want to watch oh MTV my, and Nickelodeon, you, you put it together, it's perfect. C-SPAN plus show. MTV. Yes. And you said that schools come into the show and then you take the show to certain schools. That's right. This show, for, at the Tempe Center, we will have public performances. Mm -hmm. Anybody can come buy a ticket, but we also, uh, schools field trip in to see us, and then after the run is done at the theater, we go out to schools throughout the state. And the show start, runs from when to when? Uh, it starts this Saturday, and it performs at 1 and 4 p.m. and runs through March 4th. Awesome. Okay. And the last question that I want to ask you is, why presidents? Well, you know, we want to do something that celebrates the presidents. We wanted to talk about the human, the human spirit behind those presidents and what they do when they're in office and how they use that power that they're given. And what so, do they do? All sorts of things. Stuff we can't even talk about on a family show. Oh but my gosh. they do rock, for sure. That is so exciting. Well, with that, we have some Secret Service agents with us today. And apparently you guys are going to rock for us a little bit? That's right. Let's do it. EVP Live Child's Place here to rock the presidents. Uh, 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 pledge allegiance. There's George Washington. The revolution. Then John Adams made his own contribution. Thomas Jefferson, James is Madison, and Monroe. John Quincy Adams, a first father sent duo. Hail to the Chiefs, hail to the Chiefs, hail to the Chiefs, hail to the Chiefs. Andrew Jackson was way beyond comparison. Martin Van Buren, then William Henry Harrison. John Tyler, James Polk, Zachary Taylor, Miller, Bill Moore. Franklin Pierce and James Buchanan, he could have done more. Hail to the Chiefs, hail to the Chiefs, hail to the Chiefs, hail to the Chiefs. Drew Johnson after Abe's assassination. Ulysses says Grant, Rutherford behave. Tim Garfield was shot the second in a killing craze. Hail to the Chiefs, hail to the Chiefs, hail to the Chiefs, hail to the Chiefs. Chiefs. Chester Arthur Grover Cleveland, Benjamin Harrison. Grover Cleveland came back and when he won again. William McKinley was killed by an anarchist. Theodore Roosevelt said bully as he shook his fist. Hail to the Chiefs, hail to the Chiefs, hail to the Chiefs, hail to the Chiefs. Howard Taft was to trust, he put on some weight. Woodrow Wilson's League of Nations lost a big debate. Lauren Harding, Calvin Coolidge, you didn't talk. Herbert Hoover's damn rich people the Hail to the Chiefs, hail to the Chiefs, hail to the Chiefs, hail to the Chiefs. Hail to the Chiefs. Franklin Roosevelt went 12 whole years what? Harry Truman, Dwight Eisenhower, World War II John F. Kennedy in Dallas, there he met his face Lyndon Johnson, Richard Nixon had his one against Hail to the Chiefs, hail to the Chiefs